Hey guys, Amp here, bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to be going over the uh, vector brush tool over here. So uh, when you open up Affinity Designer, you're going to come over here to the uh, tool panel. And you're going to come select this little icon over here that looks like a paintbrush. And uh, by default, it is going to be on brush default or none in the controller. Now, what the controller does is control uh, how the brush is going to paint, so you can choose something like velocity and how fast you make your stroke is going to depend on, uh, or is going to affect what is going to happen with your stroke. Uh, and there's even something like pressure, which will allow you to go like this, come over here, select this, and make how much pressure you wanted to have at, e at certain points. And uh, there's a bunch of cool things you can do. So you start off with just a basic brush like this. But you can come over here to the brushes section of your panel and come down to textured brushes and there's a bunch of different textured brushes let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see some of the stuff so there's like different textured brushes you can choose just about anything um, one of my favorite is the images where you can paint something like a chain. You can paint these uh, leaves. There's some rope. There's this weird sock thing. And there's even a zipper. So these are really useful if you wanted to make like uh, some abstract art with uh, real world objects like drawing a zipper over someone's mouth or something. Um, assorted is just a bunch of different assorted brushes. You can choose like different thicknesses to your brush. You can come over here to the top panel and choose the width of your paintbrush to something like here's a thousand, twenty-four, and you can even uh, tone down the opacity over here. Come down. So it makes it a little more see-through. Uh, you can come to the stroke panel and edit something afterwards. And something here's dotted line. And bring it back. Just different forms of line. And you can even come to the node tool and edit your line even further as it adds a bunch of nodes for you to edit it. So there's a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm going to do a whole different small tutorial on the individual dashed lines because there's a lot of information on different forms of dashed lines. But uh, you can come up here and change width of different things. This is basically like the same panel over here. Um, but, uh, in a nutshell, that's what the line tool is, or the paintbrush tool, sorry, um, the vector brush, but, uh, that's just what the vector brush is in a nutshell, uh, it's really useful more if you have something like, uh, a drawing tablet, it's, uh, not very efficient with a mouse, uh, maybe something like a trackpad would be better, um, it's useful for drawing certain lines, uh, I, uh, I will go in more in depth in something like a shading tutorial with lines, but this is just the sort of overview of the uh, vector brush tool. So uh, it's something you can use more in conjunction with different tools, which will be explored more in depth in more tutorials. So if uh, you liked the video, leave a like. Uh, more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials are coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that and subscribe for more.